as you might have guessed, for me, music is everything. The word jazz in India is synonymous to one name, a name that has been spearheading the jazz movement in India for the last three decades. Godfather for jazz in India, pianist and composer Louis Banks. Louis Banks was born on February 11, 1941 as Dambar Bahadur Buddha Prithi in Calcutta. He is Nepalese by family lineage. His father George Banks was a musician. I was able to learn music and grasp music from my father at an early age and fall in love with music, you know. Whatever I learned in my formative years was with him, really. He taught me everything. He told me that I took to music like a fish takes to water. I became a professional at the age of 13, playing with my father's band. Fell in love with jazz, the music jazz, around in my teens, really. And uh, after that, I haven't stopped loving this music and exploring this music because uh, the depth that this music has is like unimaginable. Louis' destiny changed when after hearing him play at a nightclub in Calcutta, R.D. Burman invited him to Mumbai to play piano for one of his films. He not only played the piano and keyboards with R.D. Burman, Bappi Lahiri and Lakshmikant Pyarelal on many projects during that time, but went on to compose music for jingles as well. Over the years, Louis Banks has performed in several concerts with some of the world's greatest musicians and continues to do so even now. He is the man behind the musical score of the iconic Mile Sur Mera Tumhara trilogy that made it big on the small screen. Apart from playing jazz, he has been the most sought-after composer for advertising commercials, TV serials, anthems. So next time you hear a jingle, maybe it's high chance that it's composed by Banks.